is Gary Harris. I'm a fine art landscape and real estate photographer. I guess it all started when I was young. Every year at Christmas, my brother and me would always get cameras for Christmas. Every year when we went on our family vacations, me, my brother, all running around crazy, taking pictures of everything we saw. And when we came home, we had a lot of pictures to take. I guess that's how you could say I kind of got into photography at a young age. Now I basically have created my own business called Gary Harris Images. I am a fine art landscape photographer. I travel around the Midwest doing fine art festivals, art shows, where I sell my work to galleries and people and businesses. I've been um, published in Extraordinary Vision magazine. It's the uh, number one magazine in Apple's store. I do real estate photography on the side because I got into that when I had my license in Iowa. It's not the same as the landscape, but I can be very creative in how I decide to set up a scene for a room. And I can compose a scene for a room, use the natural light around to create an image and still give it a lot of um, warmth and make it pop when you um, process it. So I enjoy doing that and it helps pay the bills. But I'm inspired by the landscapes because of the light and all the beautiful scenery we have. And once I moved to Minnesota and I didn't really know anybody up here, I really got more in tune with landscape photography because I, um, besides my friend Chow that would go shoot um, photography with me once in a while, Landscape photography basically became my personal best friend and I have nothing else to do and no more desire to do anything besides grab my camera and take pictures of landscapes and try to create a piece of art that I can sell at a fine art fair throughout the Midwest. There is some stories. Um, actually, my friend Chow went with me uh, a couple years ago on Memorial Day weekend to uh, Lake Superior to teach a um, workshop to a group of people at the uh, Split Rock Lighthouse. So me and Chow went up there the day before. We camped at Gooseberry Falls State Park right on Lake Superior. We went early so we could piddle around, shoot the waterfalls, and get some shooting in on our own before we got up early in the morning to meet our um, participants at the Split Rock Lighthouse State Park, hike a mile through the woods down to the shoreline to shoot the Split Rock Lighthouse at sunrise. Well, when we arrived up there, it was actually a lot cooler than we thought. We went ahead and set up the tent, went and done some photography. It was actually rather cold. We were getting up at um, three o'clock in the morning so we could be at Split Rock at 3.30. And we went back, built a campfire so we could get warm, ate some dinner, and went straight to the tent where we spent the next six hours shivering, bone chilling cold. We had long underwear on, sweatshirts, coats, boots, gloves, hats, slept with all these things on tucked up, up in our sleeping bags with our pillows sealing the holes, trying to keep the cold air out. And I don't think neither one of us slept more than 15 or 20 minutes the whole night and then spent the entire day on the shoreline at the Split Rock Lighthouse uh, shooting images at sunrise with like 35 mile an hour winds um, right on the shore of Lake Superior. Then we left there several hours after sunrise and took the participants to two different state parks where we did some hiking to shoot some waterfalls, which was a real treat because the hiking actually warmed us up a little bit. 
later in the afternoon when the workshop was over, we spent the entire rest of the night in the shelter by the bathrooms burning wood, sitting no more than five feet from the fire and could not get warm. It was so cold outside and then slept in the car rather than the tent, slept in the car with the heater on, got up the next morning, packed everything in the car as quick as we could, drove home, and we was actually supposed to be there two more days. It was so cold, we just couldn't take it any. I mean, we were cold for two, we were cold for two days and never got warm once except when we slept in the car. So that's a, that's a landscape photographer story. Um, if you're gonna do things and you're gonna take, do landscape photography, and you're going to do it seriously and try to do it professionally, you're going to encounter situations like that. You always take warm weather clothes with you when you go, especially when you go up north to Lake Superior. But anytime you go, you can encounter problems, cold weather, storms, and you always need to be prepared for it. You can come into life-threatening situations, although I haven't. I know other people that have through stories I've read. Through trials and tribulations, you can run into some great things and some awful things, but nothing could be more wonderful than doing landscape photography.